I'm Jason Hoffman. My goal is to help you have the confidence to just press go live. Mevo Multicam App version 2.2 has dropped, and it's going to bring with it all of the coming soon features related to NDI in Multicam. Now, just as a reminder, when Mevo Multicam App version 1 came out, it was the original, hey, let's throw a whole bunch of cameras together, let's set up a live stream. As many cameras as your control device can handle will allow that to be how many cameras you use for your live stream, and they began to rock and roll with Mevo Multicam as a great new tool for live streamers. And then 2.0 came out, and 2.0 introduced the Mevo Pro subscription. It's the one that told us we could multi-stream from within the app because of the subscription we were connecting into Logitech's greater ecosystem of, of products, which allowed multi-streaming to happen from within the app and not having to go through any other third party. It also was the official unveiling of the Mevo Go app in its ability to bring in video pre-roll and use a smartphone as another camera. So not only can you build video and bring that in as a source from a smartphone through the Mevo Go, yes, a part of the Mevo Pro subscription, you can also screen share anything that's on that smartphone or use it as another camera capitalizing on the lenses that are built into whatever smartphone you're using with the Mevo Go app. Those are the things that the Mevo Pro subscription brought us in version 2.0 of the Mevo Multicam app and now we have the next jump in functionality in featureability so to speak in the NDIHX features that have been released for Mevo Multicam. Let's walk through those according to the release notes available through your app store. NDIHX support is available to users of the Mevo Multicam app. Now, yes, this is a part of the Mevo Pro subscription. There is one piece of this update, uh, 2.2 update, that allows uh, users that are not part of the Mevo Pro subscription to have a little better functionality as well. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But the main feature here is all about NDI and it's about NDI HX, not the full bandwidth NDI. Um, we're talking about NDI HX, HX3, whatever the version of it, it is. Uh, and that's gonna allow audio and video delay correction. In the Mevo Multicam app, you're gonna be able to go into the the device that is connected, the, the asset that is connected, click on the control wheel here, the, the settings wheel, and then choose your audio and video delay settings so that you can match it up in case there is any kind of delay compared to the others. My own experience tells me that the default settings is gonna be pretty close. You may need to move it one way or the other just a little bit, but you can play with that uh, and it gives you the other screens of the other devices you have connected so that you can compare. Very helpful tool there in setting your audio and video delay. It also gives us the tally light so that we can know which source, including our NDI sources, is active. The front of the Mevo camera turns red whenever that one is the active one, even in the native part, but now we have the same functionality for our NDI sources so we can see which of our assets we're actually highlighting as we look across them. And then we have an output for NDI as well, which is going to allow us the ability to output multicam into another source. There are a couple of ways that I'm thinking this could be huge for power users. If you're controlling all your assets through multicam, but you want to feed ProPresenter, you can pull in an NDI source in ProPresenter and let the camera feed come into that computer that is running all of your media for your church service so that you can then, in an easier way, put your lyrics, put your scriptures over the top of your camera and then send it on out through ProPresenter. And the other way I'm thinking of, if you have a if you have a, a eight or nine or 10 asset setup where you're trying to, to film something, record something, stream something that is large, you can give three cameras to this control device and this person on this side. You can give three cameras to this control device and this person on this side and they can feed 
you have the option of using HEVC to feed as well. So it's a lower bandwidth kind of, uh, kind of setup here. So you're not taxing your network quite so much. You can feed those two control devices, which is a total of six cameras into another control device, which is gonna be able to choose from what they're showing you. You trust them to pick the best shot of theirs, trust them to pick the best shot of theirs. And then you choose from the shots you have, plus their, uh, their multicam that they're sending and their multicam that they're sending. So for power users, this NDI output may be a game changer. Now, one of the NDI features that is still on the coming soon list, and it's one that I can't wait till it gets here, is PTZ control. That still has a coming soon uh, note out beside of it. However, PTZ control is being worked on by the team and they'll get that released as soon as possible uh, in, in the near future. So back to that one feature in Mevo Multicam 2.2 that is uh, a benefit for those not on the Mevo Pro subscription, and that's going to be your graphic layers can now be renamed. I don't know how many times I've had graphics, especially when I was doing base runners for, for, uh, for my baseball scoreboard, and it would just be a dot on a transparent screen. And I wasn't sure if that was first base, second base, or third base. And I needed to be able to label those to, to rename what those graphic layers were. Well, now I can. We've been able to reorder them for quite some time. And now we can rename them so that I can easily know which of those I'm actually choosing. Graphic layers being renamed is a feature available to everyone in Mevo Multicam 2.2, whether you are a Mevo Pro subscriber or not. How about you? What were you looking forward to in this next major update to the Mevo Multicam app? Did they hit it or are you still looking for something? And would you like to leave that in the comments below?